Okay, so I've got the tuna bean pasta heated. My tea is steeped. My coffee is made. There's my mince pie. Let's fish out the tea bag. And mix in the lemon drink in our tea. Oh wow, I can smell that's very lemony. Okay, give it a stir. All right, let's check out our tuna bean pasta. Oh, that went better than expected. Oh wow. This is not what I expected it to look like. But, we'll give it a shot. Alrighty. Lots of oil, I see. It says sunflower oil, green pea, pasta, soybeans, red kidney beans, sugar, water, rice flour, vinegar, salt. Citric acid, herb, and spice. All right. Let's give this a... Well, wouldn't be me if I wasn't making a mess. I see lots of soybeans, some red beans, pasta, tuna. Let's try to get a little bit of everything on this shovel. Let's see what it tastes like. It's rather bland, actually. You taste more oil than you do anything. Soybeans are nice and tender, so are the red beans. The pasta is well done, but it still has a bite to it. Tuna tastes good. It's just bland, very bland. Okay, let's try a bite, a bite of this mince pie. There's a cross section. Mmm. Now the mince pie tastes a lot like my apple butter. Um, just a little different. And of course, with the bread, it's typical shelf stable. And bread. There's a good little amount of cinnamon in this. It's really good. I like it. Okay. Now to wash it down with some of my lemon and tea. Oh, wow. Now that's a totally different experience. I get straight up Tea and lemon flavored pledge. Mmm, don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's see how the coffee is. Once again, I didn't put any cream or any sugar in it. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, now I like that. This needs help. Um... Let's hit a little bit with the salt. And, uh, let's see, over here. Gotta go with the hot sauce. That ought to kick things up a little bit. I mean, it tastes good, it, don't get me wrong, but it's just bland, it's just very blah and bland. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. That helped, that helped considerably. It's still kind of bland, but we're gonna try another bite. I 
and all, it's not a bad lunch. This I will not be drinking, because it's... This is straight up lemon pledge. Just, uh, no. The coffee is very good. It was the Rambo's, I believe was the name of it. Yeah. The Rambo's coffee. And that was good. That stuff, uh, no. Not gonna happen. I mean, it, it does. It tastes like you sprayed pledge right straight in your mouth. We're in a good cup of tea. Oh, well, can't win every time. Um, I'm going to finish this up. Probably break out a pack of crackers to go with this. Um, hey, everybody. Now it's time for the snack portion uh, that I culled out, basically, uh, of this 24-hour British ration. We have tropical mix. It is 75 grams. We have a tropical flavored drink powder that has aspartame in it. So I can't drink this. I'm allergic to aspartame. But I do have cola bottles. And that's a 50 gram package, which feels like gummies. So let's get this open, see what's in it. And there is no tear on it. I've got a pair of scissors here somewhere. Okay, in our tropical mix, it says we have peanuts, raisins, banana chips, um, diced pineapple, sulfur dioxide, papaya, sugar, more sulfur, sulfur dioxide, coconut chips, sunflower oil, and cottonseed oil. So, this is the mix. And here are banana chips. And pull my sleeves up. A peanut, raisin, pineapple. It's really hard to discern which is pineapple, and this is papaya, I guess, because of the coloring. And a little bit of coconut. So let's try this out. Yeah, the banana chips are nice and crunchy. The rest of the fruit in here is nice and sweet. Very, very sweet. Coconut is good. I'm sorry about my voice, guys. I'm still halfway sick. But this is all very good. And I love trail mix, tropical mix, any of it. I pretty much like it all. Um, these are good snacks for me. Uh, when my sugar is low, but I mean, th th that's very good, and it will be eaten. Okay, for the cola bottles, I'm assuming these are going to be kind of like Haribo. Let's see, yeah, yeah, they kind of look like Haribo. Just little Haribo Coke bottles, they're a little deformed, but. That's the way it goes with gummies. I do love these. I love the Haribo. Let's try these out. And yeah, these taste like Coca-Cola, just like the Haribo do. This is probably made by somebody. Well, it says uh, produced by Vestley Foods UK. I don't know. That may be the people who make Haribo. I don't know. But I do like them. They do taste very good. And they taste like Coca-Cola. And I enjoy it pretty much. This is about all for the snack portion of my 24-hour ration. And I would like to thank John Magnum for giving me this for Christmas. Uh, Y'all need to go check out his channel. It is Multimagnum62. And there are a lot of reviewers that you need to go check out. There is Morning Wood. Uh, Fernbark does two or three different kinds of things, uh, as well as MRE reviews, and he's great. Love him. Sticky Fingers 745. Well, you know, what can I say about Sticky Fingers? He is just awesome, professional. 
Ration will give it to you straight, and he has the best ASMR voice that you'll ever hear. Also, Steve1989, which most of you know, he does very good reviews. Um, go to foreignmre.com for all your foreign ration needs. They have a channel as well and do reviews and put up a lot of videos that are just awesome. Uh, there is Old Smokey. Uh, he does a stream every Saturday night as well as putting up reviews. Um, Old Smokey's just great. He's like a brother to me, as well as most of these guys. Mickey Joe's MREs, Polly's, Apple Bushcraft, Apple Stump Bushcraft stuff and things. I'll get that out in a minute. Polly is Polly's MRE Reviews. Uh, Michael Green. Uh, there's just too many to mention. Uh, we got a new one, Country Girl. There is also Kalest e Enoch, uh, Kaylin Strain. There's just so many of us in this wonderful, wonderful community. Go check out everybody's channels. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, it sure would be appreciated. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Give it a share. This is Renee saying... Bye, y'all.